Hi, welcome back to my channel. Let us talk about numbers in Python today. As discussed, in Python, we have integers, floatings, complex, and booleans. Let us start with integers. What are integers? A integer is a number either positive or negative without decimals. Any number which doesn't have decimal points can be called integer. For example, if we look at the code, here we can see we have created three variables which are x, y, z. The variable x contains a value 1. That value doesn't have any decimal points. In the similar way, if we look at y, y contains some big number which doesn't have any decimal points and the last variable which is z contains a negative number without any decimal points. If we see, we are trying to print the data type of these three variables so that we will get what are the data types of these three variables. Let me execute the code and see what are the data types of x, y and z. Here we can see the data type of these three variables are integers. As we discussed, an integer is any number which will not have any decimal points. Now the second one is float. A floating number is a number either positive or negative which will contain one or more decimal points. Now I have created three variables x, y, z. x contains a value 1.10. Here we can see that we have decimal points in the value which is why this is called floating. If I try to execute this code, now we can see the output here. These data types are floating numbers. So we can say any number which will contain the decimal points can be called floating. Just do remember, floating can also be a scientific number with an e to indicate the power of 10. Just look at the code here. Here we can see a x, y, z is being created. Now the x contains 3, 5, e, 3. If I execute the code, the output of these three variables, the type of these three variables are floating numbers. And that is expected. Why? Because e indicates to the power of 10. Now, what are complex numbers? Complex numbers are a number with real part and imaginary part. If we look at the code, Again, I am taking same variables which are x, y, z. Here you can see in x we have 3 plus 5j which means 3 is a real part and 5j is an imaginary part. That imaginary part can be written with j and y contains 5j. 5 is a real, j is an imaginary. And this can also be a negative, right? Any number, it can be a negative or positive. Now, if we look at the code, we can see these all are complex numbers. Now, the fourth one is Boolean. For Booleans, we will have only true or false. Now, you may get the question, since these are true or false why are these booleans under numbers right so these are also numbers so let's say if i try to add a plus b we will get the output as one why because true is one false is zero this is how python treat true and false values just to make sure that these assignments are correct, let us say I will try to add true plus true and then 
false plus false if I execute the code now we will see the output true plus true is equals to 2 that is because true is 1 so what we are doing is we are doing an arithmetic operation which is 1 plus 1 now obviously 1 plus 1 will result in 2 and then we are doing 0 plus 0 which will result in 0 here you can see since we are talking about numbers let us also discuss about casting what is casting in in very simple terms we can say casting is the process of converting one data type into another data type let us say you have an integer and you need that integer data type to be a string now you can convert that integer to string let's say you have a floating number but you you need a integer that is when you use this casting right let us look at few examples now and then we will talk more about this casting later in this course we have an integer which is 1 we have floating number 2.8 and we have string what we are trying to do here is we are converting all these numbers integer floating and string to an integer which is why we are using a python built-in function which is int after casting it we are assigning these results to a variable x here variable y and then variable z then ultimately we are printing the type of these variables so we will get to know whether this casting is working or not if i execute this we can see the result all these three variables are integers now let us look at other examples let us see how we can convert a number to a floating we can see all these four variables are floating numbers to cast any number to floating we will have to use a python built-in function which is float other example I am trying to cast these values to a string which is why we are using a python built-in function which is str which stands for string if I execute the code we can see the data type of these variables are string this confirms that casting is working just remember that you will not be able to cast every data type to another data type for example let's say you have a string which is 10 now you wanted to convert this integer to a complex number you can use complex execute that now you will see the output you are able to convert this integer to complex number it will work with floating number as well but what if you wanted to convert a complex number to any other data type let's say for example you have a complex number now you wanted to convert this to an integer if you try this will not work so just remember casting can be used but casting cannot work in all the places that's all for today see you in next video thank you